Hey guys, welcome to the stream. New sheriff uniforms. Well, just the shirt. The pants are still the same. But, um, new sheriff t-shirt. Or shirt, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty cool. Ryan finished these today. Um, and the Caprice is now in the server, so... We're gonna roll around in the Caprice. Hey, Sark, how are you, buddy? Sam320. We do have a dispatcher. Maybe he's 10-6. Yeah, 320. 1037 tonight. I'm pretty good, Sark. How are you, buddy? Yeah, 320. 313. Oh. Be advised, 10-0. We are now 10-0. That was quick. 0, 313. We be right back. Uh, Sam 320, when you 10 8, you're gonna wanna relog. I clicked the wrong button. Copy. Well, that was a rip. <laughs> Not even a minute into the stream. We'll try that again. I don't like when that happens. Can't wait to drive it around. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I like it. It means it's probably disappeared, so we'll have to get a new one. Hey, Dan. Sheriff. Sheriff, Sheriff, Sheriff. It's just way too white. Actually, we're 10-0. We're 10-6. For God knows how long. For God knows how long. Might as well get the penal sheet. While we're waiting to load back in. Oh. Nothing like whacking my elbow on the desk. That's always a good start. We'll try this again. Round two. Yeah, she's gone. It's alright, we'll spawn another one. Uh, Glock. Put a flashlight on that. Body armor, we'll need one of them. Probably get shot at. Put a flashlight on this one and a scoop. All right. Uh, no, it's only a sheriff one, psych. She's only for sheriff. Yeah, Dan, the uniform looks pretty good. Um, this car has less fuel than the old one. Nope. Nope. Yep. Nope. Nope. Do not like wraparounds. Alright. Oh, radar, we need that. We'll set it up, you know, 65, that should be fast enough. Probably still get triggered by some AI. Sam 320. Sam 320. Clear back 10-8. 10-4, sir. At 317. 
Do you want to see some lights, um, guys? Do you want to see the lights on it before we roll out of here? County always gets the school, the cool stuff. PD got the F-150. I like this car a lot. That's the lights, okay? What doesn't load? It loads. It loads and loads and loads. It wasn't loading yesterday. It got fixed about 12 hours ago. Yeah, this car has a really good interior too. The speedo and all that works. See how it lights up? It's pretty cool. You're in, even the indicators flash. So we'll go and get some fuel. Yeah, some cars do take a little bit to load in as well. The F-150 wasn't working though yesterday, but it was fixed about 14 hours ago. Put some fuel in her. Gotta do something really quick, everyone. I promise you, this weekend. All right. Nope. Had to restart the app. Oh, okay. I just gotta do something really quick. Some reason the robot ain't working. Oh, forgot to put the stream chat back up. There we go. Now we're officially good to go. Oh, and that's the takedowns, guys. Not that you can really tell with the sun, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a pretty nice car, Dan. I, I must admit, I'm not the hugest fan of a Caprice, but this one is pretty nice. A 
forgot to change my plate to my number, but um, if I do it now, it'll take my feel off me. We'll do a bit of a patrol around Polito. Polito doesn't get much loving. Not as much loving as it should. Zach, I don't know why you're having so much trouble getting on, dude, if you're still in the stream. Uh, there's about six or seven on at the moment, Dan. Yeah, I don't know why you're having so much trouble, though, with that kind of thing. That Sand King is on my ass, Jesus. Wow, this guy is a dickhead. What a moron. What a idiot. Oh, you can even see the yacht from here. Guy on a jet ski. It's looking like a pretty nice Arvo on the game. AI Dan, yeah, they're friggin' ridiculous. We might just hang out in the city in in the city. We might just hang out in Polito for a little bit to be honest. Show it a bit of love. You never know, someone might come over here. Sounds good, Dan. Yep. Sorry if you guys can hear a heap of background. Well, 
Why is everyone on my ass? That guy just took out the whole friggin' fence. Just go. Just go for it, buddy. You will anyway. AI are literally the stupidest. I don't know how this road is a 25 zone. San Andreas, Lincoln 593, 598. 593, 598. I heard a bicycle. Bicycle shop. Not a lot happening here though. It's kind of true, Dan. Kind of true. Oh God. I thought that deer was gonna be a dead one. Oh, that's it, rear end me. You idiot. Flippin' idiot. I guess we'll go and fix that. What about the radar, Psycho? Can you guys hear my fan, like the people in the chat? Because I can turn it off if you can, if it's really obnoxious. Kind of forgot it was actually on. Don't rear end me. Ah, oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Good eye then. Sitting here at a green light. What are you? Slow or something?
fix this, I guess. Your car has been looked at by a mechanic. Repairs are in progress. Okay. Thank goodness for that. We're not stopping at this intersection. Nope. Nope. Absolutely not sitting there. Jesus Christ. Those AI are out for blood. Well, we might have to change the radar speed. I thought I put it on 65. Maybe I did. 85, well that's a little fast. That's a little bit fast. Sam 320. Sam 320. 10.50, westbound Great Ocean Highway in Polito. Nearest postal, 3012. 3012 on a red and black Dodge Challenger. Spin men. 320, I can't be at 335. Spin men. Guess we'll run that. Spin men. Jonathan Spinner. Pretty sure I pulled this guy over before. Challenger is nice. Yeah, it is actually. Maybe I haven't. Aggressive, careless driving, failure to maintain a lane, fleeing and eluding, resisting. Well, this could be fun. Hi, sir. Deputy Hart with the Blaine County Sheriff's Department. How are you? Not too bad. Yourself, Deputy? Pretty good, sir. The reason for stop is you're doing 85 and a 60. You got a license, registration, proof of insurance on you? Yeah, yeah. Let me grab that for you. You in a hurry to get somewhere tonight, sir? Yeah, hey, just trying to get home back in the city, you know, spending some time in the county this afternoon. Right. Okay, can you confirm your name and all that on here, please, sir? Yeah, yeah, the name is uh, Jonathan Spinner. Right, okay, Mr. Spinner, just hang out, I'll be back with you, okay? Alright. Uh, what do we reckon, guys? Warning, ticket, what are we thinking? I mean, he's hasn't really got many tickets. He's only got this ticket here for speeding. A warning. Okay. If we catch him doing it again, though, he's probably going to be in a bit more trouble.
All right, Mr. Spinner. You, today you're receiving a written warning, okay? You can't be doing 25 over the limit, okay? It doesn't matter how much of a hurry you're in. All right, all right, I'll try and slow it down. I should technically ticket you, sir, but I'm not going to. It doesn't look like you've been in trouble with the law too much in, in terms of infractions. I just need your signature to the bottom, sir. It just means you understand the warning, okay? All right. Sam 320 status. Just slow it down a bit for me, okay? And you're free to go once I shut off my emergency lights. Sam 320. Alright, sounds good, Deputy. Status Thank check. you. Uh, 10 4. 10 4. Alright, have a good night, sir. Sam 320. 320. Clear back tonight. Sam 320 at 339. My house is just so loud today, I don't know why. Everyone's just like, we'll just yell. We'll just yell because we can. I don't know if you guys can hear them, but I can. We'll see if we blend in here a little bit, I guess. This is a pretty neat little spot, hopefully. See how this goes. Okay, Dan. I don't know how many sieves we'll see in, um, in Polito, but it's worth a try. Lincoln 593. Lincoln 593. Show me out on a business check, 333 San Andreas Avenue, Rob's Liquor Store. Lincoln 593, 342. We'll give Polito about five more minutes, guys, and then we might head over to Sandy. Head over to Sandy and have a look. Lincoln 593, Metro. See what's cracking. 593. Could you uh, log into the CAD, sir? Ten four. Thank refreshed. you. Thank you.
God, those AI just whip it into that corner. Like, how dumb can they be? Oh, the radar's gonna constantly trip. Head over to Sandy and we'll have a look there. Hey Nemo, how are you doing buddy? Uh, it's a Capri, so it's not really an Aussie car. I mean, even though they stole it off the Commodore, which is Australian. They just called it a Chevy and changed the whole back, like the last name of it and called it a Capri. They changed a couple of things because it's not exactly identical to a Commodore. Lincoln 593. And I just ran a red light. Lincoln Oops. Oh well. Show me back tonight. Lincoln 5 9 3 10 4 3 3 45. That was an Break. accident. Control will be 10 6 3 mics. Can I come over? What the fuck? Old as fuck. Are you kidding me? Seven miles per hour. Is this a joke? I bet you that is a really old guy. He looks fucking old too, Jesus Christ. Oh God, oh God, don't park there. Don't park there, dude. Oh, this is gonna be horrific. Oh no. Just, just get back on the road, sir, and just, oh God. Yep, in there will be fine. This is horrific. Oh God, this is, Nemo, this is not funny. This is not the time for jokes. This is not gonna be good. Sam 320, 1050, westbound Joshua Road, nearest postal, 1041 on a green Roosevelt. This is just, this will be interesting. as fuck. Arthur Thomas, here we go. He has a ticket for failure to yield to a traffic device. At least he yielded to us, I guess.
Hi sir, Deputy Height with the Blaine County Sheriff's Department, how are you? Sir, can you hear me? Don't tell me this person's voice box is... I'm doing alright, thank you. What was that, sir? He's got his takedown, though. I'm doing alright, thank you. Sir, do you mind just putting your lights on low beam so you're not blinding everybody else on the road? Oh. There you go. Is there any reason you're doing 7 miles per hour in a 50, sir? I thought it was 7. You thought you were in a 7 mile per hour zone? Yes. Right. You didn't see the, the speed limit that said 50 back there? 50? Why would it be 50? The main road is only 20. So how long have you been had your license for? How long have you been driving, you know, for? Oh, about 70 odd years. 70 odd years, and I'm pretty sure in that in those 70 years you've been driving faster than 7 miles per hour. But 7 is the speed limit for civilian roads. No, sir. Th this road that you're driving currently on, especially, is 50. It's a 50 mile per hour zone. But that's too fast. No, sir. It's the law, and unfortunately, you're impeding traffic by driving too slowly. But it's not safe to drive that fast. Oh, God. Alright, so you got your license, registration, and proof of insurance on you for the vehicle? Yes, it's in the glove compartment. Okay, you got any weapons or anything on you that you shouldn't have? Any, you know, illegal narcotics or dead bodies or anything like that? Good heaven. Control back and eat, by the way. Yeah, Nemo, it's not too bad. Alright, you can reach in your glove box then and grab me your license and all that stuff then. Sam 320. Sam 320. 1050 westbound Joshua Road nearest postal 1041. 1041 on a green Roosevelt. Sam 320. Lincoln 593 1050. Lincoln 593. Alright, can you confirm your name, sir? It's gonna be out of 350 San Andreas Avenue oh, with awesome. a black and silver rancho. Sorry, sir, did you say something? Yes, my name is Arthur. Okay, Arthur, what's your last name? Uh, Thomas. Alright, Mr. Thomas, just hang out, I'll be back with you, okay? Holy God, help us. What do you guys think we should do with him? If he can't pick up the speed, he shouldn't be on the road. Literally. We'll turn the takedowns off, it's not dark anymore. I don't know. He's definitely impeding traffic. We could just give him a warning and just ask him to speed it up and then if he gets pulled over again or we see him doing it again we might have to do something else is what I'm kinda of thinking well that's something that needs to be put on here Mr. Thomas, here's your license and all that. You're free to go, sir. Just pick up the speed, okay? Keep it under 50, though. Sam 320, I'll be responding. All right.
Like at 593, same traffic. Step rush all units are out. Sam 320. Sam 320. 1097. It's going to be a motorcycle out the front. Clear for channel 100. Attention all units, signal 100 in effect. Be advised, the bike is red in colour. Red and black. Red black bike. Be advised, there's no plate on it. Blaine County Sheriff's Department, come out with your hands on your head. Sam 320, show me trying to make contact. Sam 320, Sheriff's Department, anybody in there? Blaine County Sheriff's Department, put your hands up. Anybody in here? Sam 320, I've made entry. Sam 320, 10 4. Blaine County Sheriff's Department, anybody in the back room? Stay out. Be advised, I have one male subject. I'm trying to Stay negotiate forward. at the yeah. moment. Sir, sir, what can we do to resolve this? Just let me go. Alright, you got any weapons on you? I don't come back here. Alright, uh, have you got any weapons on you, sir? I mean, we're armed. I've warned you, don't come back here. Alright, what, what can we do to resolve this? I already told you, just let me go. Everything goes back to normal and everybody can walk out of here alive. Okay, I'm going to talk to my colleagues really quick and we're going to make a decision, okay? And then I'll let you know. Is that you, Jake? Yep, I'm on your seat. Yeah, let's move back out, back out. Sir, so we're, we're backing off, okay? Five nine three on scene. Lincoln five nine three three fifty six. Shit, tits. Be advised, he's signal zero. He has a gun. By our cars, we have covered. No. You got a visual? Damn. Uh, I had a visual when he was peeking out there. Cobby. I mean, I, I can move his bike and we can kind of let him come out here and try and tase him or something. It's a shaft of Nemo. Cover me, I'm going to try and move the bike. I'm gonna try and make contact again. Got a copy. Okay. Do you wanna move in the building again or no? Sir, it's Deputy Height, okay? We've, we're gonna move back and you, you're gonna come out, okay? Alright. Alright. So, when you come out, you, as long as you don't have your weapon raised, we're not gonna shoot you, okay? Okay. Alright. When you come out, just keep your hands where we can see them. Backing out. 32519. Go. I'm gonna stay in the building. Copy. I'm gonna move back. Stay on my vehicle so you can cover just in case he comes out and shoots at me. Oh, damn it.
Five one nine, is he moving? Not sure at this point. Not hearing footsteps. Hands up! Oh, what the hell? Keep your hands up, don't move. You got cover? Yeah, I got cover, go ahead. Cover. Damn it. Sir, at this time you've been placed under arrest for resisting arrest and fleeing and eluding. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do may will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, I understand my rights. Alright, you got anything on you that's going to stick poke or hurt us? Yeah, yeah, I got a gun. What else you got on you? Just lighter and some cigarettes. Okay. So what about all this cash that's in the back of this ba duffel bag? Well, I guess I have all that cash too. Hmm. You're also being charged with armed robbery, sir. Well, this guy's going to jail. Sandra is Lincoln 593. Hey, load, this is 5M. 593. Be advised, one time to 1015. We've secured a 24 7. Man. No further suspects. What was that? I had a plan. Signal 100. Didn't work, did it? RTO at Obviously so, not. So, what is your name? Uh, the name's Bobby Joggers. Bobby Joggers, you right to hang out with him for a second, Jake? Pretty sure we've dealt with him before. Bobby Jogas. Pretty sure we've dealt with him. Bobby, I thought you sounded familiar. See you, Nemo. What the hell? I arrested I'm you. To... I arrested you a few, like six or seven months ago, for exactly the same crime, and you failed to get away from the cops then as well. That's the first time I've robbed somewhere. No. Remember you were snooping around down, down, down there at the Vespucci in the canals and all that? I mean, it is the first time you've robbed something, that's true, because you failed that time. Yeah, and I was out of car, I was on the scene as well. Alright, I'm going to take the helmet off you, okay, Bobby? Alright. I don't really know what you were thinking there, Bobby, because you, you should have just given up, man. No, please, no! I was thinking I had a plan to get away. Yeah, it didn't really work out, did it? You, what did you need? You needed the extra cash or something? Like, what's what's that all about? Hey, Vash. Well, uh, yeah, I needed the extra cash, and I don't really have a real job or anything. Right. Alright, go ahead and follow me. We're going to sit in the back of my car. Zach, when he gets in, can you put his seatbelt on for me, please? Yeah. Hey, you're good to go. Um, let's just search the bike before we leave. There might be something in there, might be under the seat or something.
your lead. I'm, I'm glad he didn't get away on that because that we wouldn't have caught this thing. Yeah. No kidding. Uh, I'm not seeing anything on it. Just looks like a bike. There's nothing under right. the seat. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything dug into the frame either. Yeah, it looks pretty clean. Yep. Alright, you still need me here? Um, do you want to just do one last sweep of the 24-7, make sure he didn't throw anything else that we might need, and then once that's clear, I'll move on with him. Yeah. Uh, we... Uh, 519 did, and I did a sweep at the store. We didn't see anything, but I'll double check. Yeah. Sam 320. Copy. No, I didn't see anything else in there. 320. All right. Um, uh, just get a county tow out for that bike then. Go ahead. Ten nine. In route, mission row, picking up the K nine. That's a ten ten. Ten ten. That's an A firm. Ten four. I don't know who he's picking up as a K nine, but I don't know what that's about. Don't know. We're in route to BCSO with this one. Alright, sir, go ahead and step out. Alright, Mr. Joggers, follow me. Alright, just stand up here at the desk. I guess we might see you in another year or two. 593-1070 in my location. Like oh, 503 Right, just hang there, I'll just do your arrest report and tell you exactly what you find, uh, sorry, what your charges are and stuff like that, okay? Lincoln 593. Do it. Can I have off-rotation, Zena tow, ETA 2 mic. Uh, arrest report? 10-4. Sandy Shores BCSO um, Um, crimes, that's what we need, not infractions. Um, but um, but um, arm um, robbery, so unfortunately, he gets that for obvious reasons. Um, which is a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Uh, he didn't really assault anybody. Carrying a concealed weapon. He has a criminal record, so he shouldn't have even had a weapon. So that's a, um, an issue right there. Uh, 
Um, he had a license. What have we got so far? Arm robbery. Possession of firearm by a felon. That's another big issue. What is a felony one? 500,000. Rip. That's a rip. Rip, rip, rip. Um, fleeing or attempting to elude a law enforcement officer. Well, he did that as well. So that's another felony too. can we get this guy for? Um, Jake, thanks for the raid. I appreciate it, buddy. Open carrying a weapon. He, that's kind of petty. Thanks for the raid, buddy. Um, possession of a firearm. I already charged him with the other. Oh, hang on. Yeah, that's the one. That's fine. That's a felony one instead of a felony two. Um... Resisting an officer with violence. He did that. He had a freaking gun. This is really not going very well for this guy. 150,000, 500,000. I can't remember what that one was. I think it's a felony of two. 300,000, 800,000. That's $850,000. That's a lot of money so far for this guy. Wow. Well, this guy is a ripperoni. You still there, Mr. Joggers? Yeah. Alright, you're being charged with fleeing and eluding. Resisting arrest with contention, arm robbery, and possession of a firearm by a known felon, okay? 300,000, 800, 850,000. You have an $800,000 bail, or you can be incarcerated until you see the judge. What would you like to do? Here, send me to jail. Send you to jail? Yeah. Mr. Joggers, you do realise you could be like a normal person and go and get a real job and make some actual real money instead of going to jail, right? All the time. I could. Well, maybe you'll learn one day, or, you know, maybe you'll end up dead. I don't know. Go ahead and stand over next to those double doors. The booking officer will take you away, okay? Alright. Seven. Jail seven for uh, four minutes. Hey, Charlie. No! 
Sam 320. Sam 320 I'll be clear back tonight. Sam 320 at 414. I actually was down the like the side of my gun, Brandon. So I didn't see you get like I saw you fall off, but I didn't actually see exactly what happened. But um, thanks for the resub, buddy. I love you. But um, no, I was down the side of my gun, so I didn't really see you get knocked off. Like I was more ready to tase you, to be honest. Yeah, Jake knocked you off the bike somehow. I don't know, I'd have to go back and watch his stream on how he did it. I was going to grab my M4. I didn't realise you'd even came out until I saw you, like, sprinting around the back. Which kind of shook me. Not gonna lie, I was a little shook. Yeah, as I put your YouTube channel or something, Smokey, like Charlie suggested. Do something like that. Oh, I bet you did. I've now got the 12 grand. Take it you're getting off, Brandon. Oh, I mean you're in jail anyway at the moment, aren't you? Hence the reason you're in the stream. You could go clean that for me. <laughs> that That's legit. <laughs> Uh, maybe you should have suggested that in the um, in the station, and I could have arrested you for bribery as well. That would have been comical. Just roll a stop sign. We don't mind. Okay, sounds good. I think I said I was back tonight. Maybe not. Dr. James Porter, what? I didn't see this on here earlier. Who the hell's James Porter? Let's have a look. There is no James Porter. Doctor. James. Sam 320. Sam 320. Are they person bolo? What's that about? Sam 320, I believe. 135. Issue that for training purposes. Ten four, that can be cleared then. Ten four, sir. <laughs> I was like, uh, there's no, there's no, you know, James Porter in the system. Looking for a ghost. We escaped the old guy. 
for a robbery. I don't know if that was a win or a loss. Stay on your lane, buddy. Oh, I enjoy running radar too much. I'm just going to keep parking somewhere. This will be a good spot once it gets dark, actually. This will be a pretty neat spot once it gets dark. Hey Jordan. I thought I made an announcement in my Discord. Did you not see it? Oh. I thought you were aware of this. King Billy, thank you for the host. I really appreciate it, dude. Jordan, are you getting on? I'm pretty good, Billy. How are you, buddy? We're going to catch a speeder, I hope. Or, if we don't catch a speeder, we're going to catch friggin' Arthur Thomas coming past us at 7 miles per hour like earlier. I swear to God, if it's Arthur Thomas doing 7 miles per hour though, we might shoot ourselves. He was literally doing 7 on Joshua. It's pretty horrendous, to be honest. No, the canine works, but that's the reason why there's training, Jordan. Hence the reason I said you just couldn't do it. Um, Jonathan is here. I'm not really sure if he is here or not, Jordan, because um, I'm pretty sure Ryan invited him, but I'm not really sure what he's doing. 60? All I can see is a bush. We're in a bush. You already named me? <laughs> what did you name you? Oh yeah, Vash, that shit always happens. It's ridiculous. I don't know how you pronounce that. Litter? Is that how you're saying that? Lighter? Lighter, I think that's how you're saying it. Go and get K9 friggin' trained and then you'll be good. That's what I said, Charlie, okay? Well, it's not radar, it's lighter. It's literally how you just... I don't know. Anyway, moving on. That's it, buddy. Slam the brakes on. Stupid AI. Jordan, don't worry about college. Like... That's still six hours away. That's plenty of time to have fun and, you know, play on a server. Just saying. Sam 320. Go ahead. New call assignment 1019 Panorama Drive for a motor vehicle accident, non injury. Copy and route.
Yep, Bash, that's the kind of shit you see. Did he say not emergency? It's probably an AI call. I, an AI rammed into a traffic barrier and died. Oh God. Sam 320. Sam 320. 1097. Sam 320 and 424. <sighs> Guess we'll go and see what's up with this. Hi guys, Deputy Hi with the Blaine County Sheriff's Department. What's what's the issue? This guy over here. This guy was over trying here. to turn her. Okay. He was trying to turn okay. Okay. Break for a second. Break road. for a second. No. Sir in the white no. shirt, you're gonna talk yes. first. Okay. Sir in the white shirt is gonna talk first. Okay, guys. And then the guy with the overalls. Then you can talk second. Okay. Okay, Vash. Well, I was driving along, minding my own business, as you can see. I have an ATV, which means I can go anywhere, even in the water, with a mod I did myself. And all of a sudden, I was driving along, and boom, his car's right in front of me. Okay. And then I crashed into this guardrail here, and it fucked up the whole front of this shit. It's just as well the inbuilt gun didn't go off and kill someone. I, I hope there's no inbuilt gun in that, sir, or I'll be taking it off you. Now, sir, in the blue, you're going to talk to me now. Yeah, I was just minding my own business driving down here down Panorama when this ATV pulls around the corner over here, whips it around, and ends up in oncoming lanes coming straight towards me and runs into me before he goes veering off into the guardrail over here. Right, have either of you got a dash cam or anything like that in your vehicles? On your vehicle? No. Does it look like there's a dash cam? Sir, so I have a I have a GoPro when I ride my ATV, so I was just asking a question, okay? Yeah, well I can't afford a GoPro, they're like four hundred bucks, Jesus Christ. Alright, okay. Sir, what's what's your name? Pretty sure it's Mr. Sir or something. Oh, it's Preet. Oh, it's God how do I say your name again? Preet Van da 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 da, da Van. Van der Van der Der. Yeah, so very easy. Okay, and what's your name, sir? Uh, Jerome Gibson. Uh, Mr. Gibson, just go ahead and stand over on that side of the road. That way, you know, we can avoid some conflict here and some stuff like that, okay? Alright. God help us. A motor vehicle accident. We got Mr. Gibson here. Jerome Gibson. Who has a quite an extensive history here. Aggressive careless driving. Driving under the influence. That's not good. No charges on that one, so I don't know what he was charged for. He's got three of the same ones on the same day. Driving under the influence. So maybe he's under the influence. Let's we'll have to check that. Because he's got quite a few DUI stuff going on there. This guy's valid. Failure to yield. Running a stop sign. So he's got two failure to yields as well. They've both kind of got a little bit of a record. I don't know if I like that. Right, Mr. Gibson, have you had anything to drink tonight? Any illegal narcotics or anything like that? No, no, not tonight. Not tonight? No. 
No offense, but I can't help notice, but on your record, that you've got multiple driving under the influence and um, arrest priors like that. So that's why I'm asking the questions, okay? Oh, no, I totally understand, but no, I am sober tonight. Right, just because this is a motor vehicle accident, I am going to require you to blow into a breathalyzer, okay? Alright, I can do that. Alright, just follow me to the trunk of my car. Is that your black car, sir? Uh, that's a rental car. Right. Alright, let me just grab the breathalyzer. Yeah, whatever, Charlie. Okay. Actually, he said that in game. Alright, have you ever blown into a breathalyzer, sir? I'd imagine you would have with uh, the prize that you have. Yeah, I, I know what I'm doing here. Alright, so I'm going to... You're going to put this bit into your mouth and you're going to blow until I say stop, okay? So whenever you're All ready, right. you can start blowing. Okay, go ahead and stop. Alright, so just come back as a 0, 0.00, so that's all good. Um, you're free to just go and stand back next to your car. I'll go on ahead and talk to this guy over here and uh, meet back with you, okay? Alright, sounds good, deputy. Mr. Gibson, have you got um, insurance papers and all that in the car rental agreement for this vehicle? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can grab all that paperwork. Yeah, please do. You got any firearms or anything like that on you? No, no firearm. Okay. Oh, uh, well, yeah, Jordan. So you... All right, Debbie, here you go. Here's all the paperwork. Uh, Mr. Gibson, you just need to jump for a second. Um, all right. Gotta watch Mr. Preet over there. Um, sir, is this rental agreement valid or anything? I'm not really seeing it. Yeah, yeah, it should be all valid. Right, okay, well, I'm gonna take it with me for a second. You just hang out here. I'd say Brandon didn't see me when I did the slash do. 
All right, Mr. Van der de, de Van, whatever. Um, you're you're all good. Um, you've got a couple of prizes as well for running stop signs and stuff like that. So, is that what happened here tonight? Um, uh, no. No. Okay. Can you explain to me one more time what happened? Well, I was riding my ATV on the hills. Hey, magic. There. Not a lot. And I came around the corner, and all of a sudden, this car was just out of nowhere, right in front of me. Somewhere he completely shouldn't have been, probably. And he slammed right into the front. Sam 320 started. me skip off the side. Ah, uh, 10 and Smash into this guardrail here. Could join me. Alright, so when I pulled up, I heard you um state that I'm on an ATV and I can do what I want and go where I want and stuff like that. So it kind of makes me think that you may have been doing the wrong thing. How can I be doing the wrong thing if it's an ATV? That means I can drive on anything. He's just got a car, he can only drive on the road. Yeah, which he was driving on and you... You just said he came out of nowhere, but technically he was on the road where he's allowed to be. Well, yeah, but I'm still allowed to also be on the road. That doesn't give him supreme rights over me. That's not what I'm saying, but you just said you just come off the off the hill and stuff and all of a sudden he's banging the road because you obviously, by the sounds of it, to me, didn't really come onto the road properly. Well, you know, I mean, I came onto the, onto the road just like any other car would, pulling out of a driveway or something. Oh, nice, Magic. And it also appears to me that your ATV doesn't have hazard lights or anything like that, which is a bit of an issue. Um. I think it does. Alright, explain to me what what direction were you coming from? Like in 593, 1050. 593. Corner of Sonora Road and Marlock uh, Drive. I came from... Just see where those rocks seem there. Muscle. Came onto the road, and I was driving along, and I went to go straight down this dirt road here to continue my journey. And next thing I know, boom, his car, just boom, boom. Like rear-ended you? Bang. And no, he, he was in front. So what, so what you just said to me was you just came westbound on the smoke tree over here. You didn't stop at the stop sign because you wanted to proceed onto the dirt road and then this gentleman came, I'm, I'm guessing southbound, and you didn't stop and you hit him. It's pretty much what you just said to me. Go ahead. Well, no. James. Oh, good, my tow truck's here. Well, no, but, but, like, let's see. I was going straight through, so. Yeah, so there's a, there's a stop sign over there that you need to stop at before you cross. It looks like a swirly tire car sign to me. Sir, sir, it's an intersection. You need to give way and yield. And there is a. It literally says stop on the on the white line. Well, no, but how come he didn't have to give way? Because he's he's on a he's on a straight road that doesn't have to yield to you. No, but I was going straight ahead. You just said to me that you just. Ca no, just just no, okay. Jesus. Well, yes, I was going. Sir, straight ha, are you are you under the influence of any narcotics or alcohol? Straight from that road. Sir, are you under the influence of any alcohol or narcotics? Line. No. Have you ever blown into a breathalyzer, sir? Not recently. 
Sir, because you're involved in an MVA, which is a traffic accident, you are required to blow into this breathalyzer. Um, this end here is going to go into your mouth and you're going to blow continuously until I say stop. You understand? Well, not quite. Would I be right in assuming that that guy also blew into it? He, he also did blow into it. It has a brand new sterile um, tip on it. It's all, it's all clean um, and ready to go in your mouth. And you, you're ready to blow whenever. Well, I don't want to be blowing into the same thing as him. Have you got a different one? Sir, this is a fresh one. It's completely clean. It's safe for you to use. I need you to blow into it. What, the whole machine? Sir, are you are you failing to blow into the PBT? Because I can, I can arrest you, sir, for driving under the influence if you're not going to agree to my testing. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, I'll blow into the fucking thing then. Okay, that's the attitude I want, sir. Now you can blow continuously until I say stop, okay? Yeah, alright, hold on a second, just let me get ready. Sir, sir, it's not as, you're not running cross country or something, you just have to blow continuously until I say stop, okay? Alright. Alright, start blowing. Yeah, so you got to blow on it, not chew on. Not don't chew on my on the tip of it, please. Okay, stop. You can stop, sir. Thank you. I don't know what that was. Hey, where's my tow truck going? He's probably going to offer this other gentleman the tow truck because you were in the wrong. It sounds like to me. Yeah, but my car's the, or well, my ATV is the one that got broken. Uh, his, his stupid car over there is perfectly fine by the looks. Alright, sir. Hang out here. I'll be back with you, okay? We're going to try and clear this up and get you both on your way. Well, can I tell him it's okay to load my thing onto the... No, truck? no. I need to get photos before he takes that. Have you got insurance for the bike, sir? Um, probably. I need your insurance papers as well. Oh, well, I don't have them with me, I'll have to, fucking, I don't know, just bring them down to the station. So you've committed another crime today, sir. How's that a crime? Alright, hang out here, I'll be back with you. <laughs> I can talk now, Magic, if you want. Uh, Mr. Gibson, can you just... Uh, explain to me one more yeah. time. You're coming southbound on Panorama. Yeah, I was heading towards Sandy Shores there. Oh, you're going northbound. Yeah, yeah, I was heading from the Yellow Jack towards the Sandy Shores. Okay. So, and the motorcycle was coming westbound, correct? And it ran this stop sign, and it just continued. I think he stopped at the stop sign, but then decided he was going to pull out in front of me anyways, and then pulled out into my lane and not into his correct lane. Hang on, say that again? He he ran the stop sign or he didn't run the stop sign? He didn't actually run the stop sign, like he stopped, but then he just pulled out right in front of me after he had stopped at the stop sign. Right. Go ahead. 10-4, still investigating. When he, when he did pull out... Sorry, you're right, sir. And when he did pull out, he pulled out into, like, oncoming lanes instead of the lane he should have been in. Right. So, at the, at the moment, I've kind of got a pretty good idea that he was possibly in the wrong. I haven't got a lot to prove it with, um, but I have a pretty good hunch, and pretty much what he's told me kind of corroborates kind of with what you're saying. Um, now... Are you happy to just exchange insurance information and stuff like that and just be on your way, or do you want to make this a bigger deal than it has to be? No, no, I'm good with just the ex insurance. Hey, free top. Stuff. All right, if you guys can be calm, um, go and stand next to each other, e um, exchange the insurance and all that, get that sorted, and then I'll get some photos, and then you guys can be on your way, hopefully. All right, sounds good, deputy. Evil, thanks for the bits. Um, Magic, you don't need 
to do anything EUP or I don't know what you mean by modify. Everything's server side pretty much. But I am the same as you, that's why I don't get on a lot of other servers either. Ah, uh, damn, this scene is taking a while. There's a lot more, um... Um, you just need to apply so I can have your Steam ID and Hex, but that's about it. You just literally have to fill out the application and then you're done. I should have put my traffic vest on. Okay, free top. Uh, I think it's in live TV on my Discord, uh, Magic, in the pin messages, I think. If it's not there, I'm sure Charlie will help you. Should have put my traffic vest on. Oh, you could just do explanation mark CR CLRP, that'll work. Forgot about that. Have you got your phone ready? Or is stream elements not working? Maybe stream elements isn't working. Rip. Stream elements does appear uh, to be eight, down. One. Nine seven five. All right, and you're from my number. Yeah, it didn't do anything, did it? Ah, uh, so you're free to load up the ATV whenever you're ready. I've I've got my photos and all that I, that I needed. Blah, 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 blah. Alrighty, thank you very much. No worries. Oh, dude, I do that all the time. Alright, got it. My fucking fire right. stuck in French or some bullshit. Tried to save a few dollars by buying a second hand one. There it is. Ah, it's rough. Sam, yeah, 320. When I get home, I'll text you my insurance. Yeah, so. 1028, when ready? Ah, uh, yeah, we can go ahead and get this shit sorted out. November. Oscar, right, Foxtrot, work. Zebra, 3524. Can I uh, get your gentleman to step aside, please? Go ahead. Go ahead. Conduct to a gray blazer valid insurance. RO of Preet Van Der Van Der Der. Yeah, 10 4. It's going to be a Preet Van Der 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 Der. Uh, sir, I think you missed the dirt. Copy. Van to van, duh, duh. That's pretty fucking... Sir, nice. sir, just calm down. I'm on the radio. 10-9. Disregard. All good. Just go talking nonsense about my name. Sir, just... I, I'm not talking nonsense. I just find your name kind of hard to... Like, hard to sort of explain. I, I, I have an issue with it flowing in my tongue and stuff like that. Uh, well, maybe if you had the fucking decency to not be born in Australia, you'd be fine. Sir, who said I was born in Australia? I mean, a deaf person could tell you were born in Australia. Listen to your accent. Wow. So, so you're a very hostile kind of person. Well, I've just had my fucking... Pride and joy all smashed up, haven't I? Look at it. Well, you're lucky I'm not giving you a citation for reckless driving, sir, so you're lucky the other gentleman just wanted to exchange insurance information and you can be on your way. Now, before I head off, and you, you're going to get catch a lift with this toe, I'd imagine, um, 
Just stop at the stop signs. Make sure both ways are clear. Look left and right. And if it's clear, proceed through, okay? If there's someone else coming and you're at the giveaway sign or the stop sign, whatever you want to call it, you then need to wait, okay? Well, to be honest, the stop signs around here, I mean, they're not even stop signs. Sir, so, so I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not here to debate the law. I'm not here to debate the law, okay? I, I've explained to you. What you've done wrong, I just need you to be on board and listen and just do the right thing, okay? Take some responsibility for your actions. Yeah, well, I'm not debating it with you. Um, I'm just saying that over there... No, see, see, you are debating it because you're going on about the stop signs, sir. I, I, I'm not the council, okay? I don't go around with a sledgehammer putting the stop signs in, okay, sir? I'm a police officer and well, my job is to enforce the law, okay? Sir, I, all my job is, is to enforce the law, okay? I don't make the law book, I just enforce it, okay? Well, I mean, I haven't really said anything to the contrary. I'm saying the sign... No, we're, we're the not, sign. sir, we're not going to talk about the sign, okay? I'm going to head back to my car, you're going to have a jolly good day, and I'm going to get back on patrol, okay? So, sir, you have a very, very good day, and goodbye. Here's your license back as well before I forget. Visible stop signs. Yep, goodbye sir. Have a, have a splendid day. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you too. Lord have mercy. Mr. Gibson. Yeah. Alright, here's your license and your insurance and your rental agreement back. Just remember, um... I'm pretty sure it was the other guy's fault, but just make sure you've been extra um, vigilant on the road and stuff like that, paying attention and stuff. But you're free to go, sir. Thanks for your co cooperation. All right, thank you, deputy. All right, be safe. Jesus. Sam three twenty. Yeah, I I'll be clear back tonight. Hmm. I guess we'll leave. Do you, Dan? I was ready to hit him in the head. For being stupid. <sighs> Doors, shut that one. Just pull out, buddy. It's pretty much what that guy on the ATV did. Oh, dead bird. Oh, God. That AI did a sick drift. Not gonna lie, that was actually a pretty sick drift. Yeah, Zach, that bird got no... Zach, you do realise you can go county, right? You don't have to just sit in the city and... I, I don't know if you're actually doing anything. I wasn't really listening to the radio, but... I mean, if you're getting stuff down there, then good, I guess. You're getting paid for nothing. <laughs> I guess that's the attitude to have. Hey Sean, you love the Caprice? It is a pretty nice one. I do like the skin on it and everything. Hey Snipe, welcome to the stream. Brandon with a hundred bits, thank you. Thanks for the good fun tonight, buddy, as well. Sucks that you didn't get away with the 12k, but I've got it now for myself.
go and dump that in the evidence room later. Um, Magic, did you join the Discord link at the end? Yeah, the Caprice looks really good, um, Brandon. Magic didn't join the Discord link at the end of the application. Me face palms. Hard. <sighs> People don't read. Oh, maybe he did. You're in it? Oh, okay. Jason, what's your unit number? Is it 175? I think that's it. Oh, you're, you're lucky. lucky. You're like super lucky. lucky. Cause, um... Your unit number is actually available. Which is kind of a good thing. To be and you already whitelisted. I just whitelisted you. Change your nickname if I did it wrong. I think I did, but I will. You can fix it. There's an echo. Fex sake. Oh. For some reason, it completely muted the whole uh, the whole Yeti. So I've been talking for like five minutes. John, John, you are whitelisted. If you have the whitelist role on Discord, you're good. Magic, you should be whitelisted. Um, that was quite comedic. Hang on, let me try this again. Yeah, I don't know why it... I don't know, I must have muted the Yeti as well, maybe, I don't know. I thought I muted myself on the stream deck, don't know. Ford Fusion's everywhere. Yeah, exactly, uh-huh. Of course. <laughs>
I think Vash said he was going to get back on. Oh, here's the tow truck. This guy's driving pretty aggressively. What the fuck? That's an AI. I think this is an AI as well. Yeah, that's a pretty cool tow truck. I'm pretty sure it has an LSPD skin as well, Brandon. That's an AI. What the fuck? Oh, magic. Just go to servo info and community links. Sam 320. Sam 320. 1050 westbound Route 68. Nearest postal 944 on a silver blister compact. If you can roll me one additional unit. Lincoln 593. Good. Spotted 94 West Town Route 68. HCW. Doesn't even come back in the system. No, you can have whatever you want as you're in-game, dude. Hi sir, Deputy Hart with the Blaine County Sheriff's Department, how are you? Um, did you just assume my gender? Excuse me? Did you just assume my gender? What, what do you mean did I assume your gender, sir? Well, you walked up to me and said, hi sir, but you don't know whether I'm a sir or a ma'am. Right. Sir... Do you want me to call you ma'am or sir? Sir, please. So, so what exactly is the issue that you're getting at then? Well, it's 2019 and you like, you have to ask before you assume. Right, well, you, you have short hair, you talk like a male, you look like a male, so I'm just going to call you sir, okay? Evil, thanks for the bits. Okay, but can we hurry this up, because this pizza's going cold, and if I don't get it there in another seven um, minutes, then I'll have to pay for it. Sir, so that's not my issue. The issue is you're doing, I think it was 86 in a 50. Um, you went flying past me, you're honking your horn aggressively, you're driving aggressively, your car doesn't even come back registered, which is another issue that we'll get to in a little bit. So I need your license, your registration, well, and your proof of insurance. Truck driver. That was the stupid truck Sir, driver. Sir, you're telling me you're in a hurry for a pizza delivery? You're the one talking to me about assuming genders and stuff. I need your license, registration, and proof of insurance for the vehicle. Yeah, okay, hold on. What the hell is Zach doing on the road? Jesus. Evil, I'm local. What? Yes, they did, Brandon. New shirt. The, um. Oh, okay. The fucking. I got you, Evil. The car's not mine. It's the pizza company's, okay? So, like, I'll have to text my boss and find out where the where the other paperwork is. Right. So, there should be some insurance papers and some registration papers in the glove box for the vehicle, correct? Or am I not correct? Oh. Well, it's my first day. I'll have a look. Hold on. Oh, 
Oh yeah, here they are. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Alright, can you confirm your name, sir? On the driver's oh, license? I just didn't know where they were. What? Can you confirm your name, sir, on your driver's license? Oh, yeah, of course. It's Fabian. And your last name, Fabian? Castle. You know, big, strong, tall, like me. Sorry, your last name is Fabian Castles, is that what you just said? Yes. Right, hang out here, I'll be back with you. You play on DOJ Evil? Nice. Why is my radar cleared? What? Did I hit the M menu? Oh, please tell me I didn't. We did clock him, right? 1,000 more magic? Oh, that sucks. I'm positive I clocked him. I don't think I hit the M menu. Sixty-six, that's a bit fast. I did it was seventy-two, was it? What was his name, Fabian? I've got him for aggressive and careless driving anyway. We'll give him a ticket for reckless for careless driving. I won't give him a speed oh no, we'll go speeding ticket. We won't get him for the reckless. Brandon, thanks for the thousand bits. Catch you later. Good luck with Mr. Fabian. Well, I don't know, is he a Mr. or a Mrs.? Because he doesn't like to be assumed his gender, Brandon. Okay. Don't assume his gender or her. But good night, buddy. I love you. Uh, it was gonna be westbound route 68. Who's honking their horn? We're gonna make this guy wait because he's just rude. Hey Zach. Hey, what's up? Uh, not a lot. Just clock this guy doing a bit over about 10, 15 over the speed limit, and then he's aggressively driving and honking his horn. All right. Yeah, he claims he's in a hurry, so I'm just, I'm kind of just taking my time, you know. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not really in a hurry personally. Yeah. So I did a little bit of editing to the car. How do you like it? Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. You like you like a black unmarked, don't you? I do. I missed the charger already. Yeah, don't worry. The the unmarked charger will be back before you know it. Oh, I can't wait. All right. That first night I ran it, I I fucking loved it. Yeah, I, I'm not a. There's a new one coming. I'm I'm not really a huge fan of it, but um, I had to compromise on it because Ryan wanted it. So um, you know the, so the the higher ups in the department wanted it, so they got it, sort of thing. I wait for this guy to take off. Okay, I I might just write him up for excessive honking at this point. Go for it. I'm going to write it up on your computer, I think. Alright, open. Where's the horn? Please tell me the horn's on here. Yes. $1,000. Alright. I'll go and tell him the news, I guess. 
Sam 320, be advised, we're 10-4. Oh, Excuse me, sir, what was that? Oh, finally. Quick, I've only got, like, two minutes left. Alright, Fabian, here's what's happening today. You are receiving two citations. One is for your impulsive, uncontrollably, irritatingly annoying um, honking of the horn. That is called excessive honking, sir, it is a thousand dollar citation. The second one is for doing one to... That's your fault. Sir, the other ticket is for one to nine over the speed limit, okay? All up, you have $2,500 in citations, okay? Well, that's just fucked. No, sir, it's the law and you decided to think that you were above it. I could also ticket you for aggressive and reckless and careless driving if that's something you want me to go and write up, but it might take an extra five minutes. No, I haven't got time for that. Alright, I need your signature to the bottom, it's not a mission of guilt, it just means you understand and you'll show up to court. Uh, you can fight the tickets if you like, that is completely up to you. Uh, the fines either need to be paid now or by the end of the month. If you don't pay them, a bench warrant will be placed out for your arrest, do you understand? Yes. Okay, once I get back to my vehicle and I sit comfortably in my seat and I shut off my emergency lights, you are free to pull off, okay? See you, Vash. Yep, well, mate. Yep. Alright. Have a safe one, slow it down, drive responsibly. Gotta get this pizza to look. Yeah, magic, it will be. Sam 320. You can show both units clear back 10 8. 593, thanks for the assist. Well, that guy was just impulsive. Okay, it's operator 392, it'll be 10 7 10 42. Have a great night, guys. Stay safe. Thanks for dispatching. Have a good night. 10 4, thanks. Boom, ba -dum. We lost our dispatcher. Rip. Rippity, rip, rip, rip. 320-593 direct. Go. Yeah, I was going to clear off that scene. I was going to get down a little way to 68, see if I catch him speeding again. Copy. But I uh, have not the jurisdiction, so. 10 4. Thanks for the assist. 10 4. We'll sit here and we'll see if he goes flying past us, I guess. You never know. Magic, you're going to be pretty rich, to be honest, I think. Hmm. Alright, Dan. We'll sit here for a couple of minutes, see if he comes flying past. It's taken you five hours? Fuck that. No offense, but Jesus. Hey, Pan. Welcome, buddy.
Oh, and Mayata. Mayata. How do you guys... I don't know how you guys say them over there. Say that. I think that's how you pronounce it. We might go and get some fuel. Wash the um, car. Miata. Oh, that was a bit of frame loss. Ah, uh, gotcha. Lincoln 593 is going to be disbanded. Sam 93 is going to be 1037 tonight. Oh, it sounds like Zach switched to Sheriff, which is nice. Pretty keen to get back in the city, though, in the, in the, the next couple of streams. Won't be doing Sheriff as much. I was going to go city tonight, but um, the Caprice got added, so I really wanted to drive the Caprice because I've been waiting for it for a little bit. Thought it'd be nice to drive it. We'll wash the vehicle. That is the worst, dude. Um, that's not exactly events, but there's like LSPD file, you can pull over AI and stuff. So I can pull this bitch over if I wanted to. Her name is Jessic. She's driving with no lights on. Are you gonna stop, ma'am? I mean, and you can just, she's, she'll be in the cat and everything as well, Magic, but I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna let her go. Jesus, she's gonna kill somebody. You can give them citations and whatever you want, kind of just roleplay it however. However interests you. Jeez, that's a fair bit, dude. We'll go to Grapeseed for a look. Zach's in the charger. I reckon that's... That's either Les or Bash in the tow truck. I reckon it's Les. Driving that. 57. It's not too fast. I'm not going to flip around on him just for that.
You're in love with a Capri Stan? I'm not going to go all the way into Grapeseed, I think I might actually, we might go off duty and drive home to be honest. It's starting to get to that time of night where work's getting closer and closer. Sixty two. Oh, my goodness. We'll wait for him to get back in the car and then we'll initiate a traffic stop. He's driving absolutely ridiculously. Jesus, he likes just immediately hits. There's a bush there. Sir, move up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, this guy is about to just lose his license, I think. Sam 320, 1050 westbound Joshua Road. Nearest postal 1039 on the same at Blister Compact if I can have one additional. Lincoln 593 is at BCS 7 route. Fabian, what are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm delivering pizzas. I already told you. Alright, go ahead and step out of the out of the car for me. I can't. Yeah, you can. Go ahead and step out of the car for me, please. No, it's not fair. You're just picking on me because I'm a poor teenager with no money. Fabian, I'm not picking on you because you're a poor teenager. I'm asking you to step out of the car, OBK, because you can't drive very well. But I can. No. Fabian, go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me, please, and move over to the side of the road. Oh. Thank you. Go ahead and step over to the side of the road. Your attitude and all that depends on whether you keep your license tonight. Do you understand? Well, I need it. Otherwise, I'm going to be fucked. I understand that you need your license, 
but it's all up to you whether you keep your license. I've clocked you doing 58 going westbound. I let that go. I then come back and I clock you doing 62. You then cut off a car to go into a residential area. Well, yeah, but I only had 30 seconds left to get that pizza there. Okay, it doesn't matter if you only had 30 seconds or, or, or however much time you had. You're not driving responsibly, which is the issue. Well, it's not my fault they make the time so short on the pizzas. So, what I'm hearing at the moment is... It's not your fault, nothing's your fault, and I should just suspend your license and tow the car now. No, don't suspend my license. Oh my fucking god. Okay. My dad will actually murder me. Okay, well your dad's gonna murder you if you keep getting citations because you're driving appalling on the road. But that's my boss's fault. No, no. Okay, it's not your boss's fault. It's up to you whether you do as exactly to the letter as to what he or she says. I won't assume the gender of your boss. Um, it's completely up to you whether you follow each direction she, he or she gives. Can we go down and talk to my boss? No, we're not going to talk to your boss. Um, he or she isn't the reason you're being pulled over at the moment. The reason you're being pulled over is because you keep speeding and driving recklessly on the roads of San Andreas. I thought this was Sandy Shores. Right. Uh, are you are you going to take this seriously, or are you going to keep being a child? I am taking it seriously. What do you mean? All right. You're going to hang out with this deputy here, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to make a decision in my car what I'm going to do with you, okay? Ah, uh, fine. You might also want to ring your boss and tell him that he or she that you're going to be very late because you're on another traffic stop with the police. Ah, oh, fuck. I actually thought he was going to run then for a second when he wouldn't get out of the car. Last chance, I guess, he gets another ticket. $2,000. We're getting for the speed. Did you ring your boss? I left my phone in my car, and I thought you'd probably shoot me if I jumped back in. I, I don't think anybody would shoot you. You'd probably get told off, unless you told the deputy exactly what you were, you were about to do. Okay, so at the moment what's happening is I'm writing you a citation. It is another citation, a $2,000 one, for your reckless and aggressive, careless driving, okay? Oh, shit. The only reason I got this stupid fucking job is because my fucking scooter got a uh, fucking flat tire and my dad made me fucking pay for it myself. Okay. Like I, like, like I said in the last traffic stop, you can pay the fines now or at the end of the month, it's up to you. Bench warrant still applies if you don't pay them. I do need your signature at the bottom, it's not a mission of guilt, it just means you understand what's happening, okay? I will let you know right now, if I pull you over again tonight for the same crime, I am probably going to tow the car, do you understand? <laughs> well, I dare you to tow the car. Excuse me? Like, if you towed the car, my boss would fucking come down and slam your head in the pizza oven. Right, um... 
she is the most insane woman. Like, I'm so scared See of you, Dan. I, I personally am not scared of your boss, whether she's a male or female. I don't want to assume just because you said she was a she. Um, what, what my issue is at the moment is you're driving, okay? Well, like, are you going to pay the bill if the pizzas are all late? Honestly, if the job that you're doing requires you to do the wrong thing like this where you're constantly getting pulled over and to the point where your car's going to be towed or you're going to have your license suspended, to me, it might be time to be looking for a new career path. Ugh, this isn't a career path. Fuck that shit. Well, is this job really worth losing your license over? My scooter wheel. Fuck no, then I wouldn't be able to drive my scooter. Because it sounds like to me, the, the few hundred dollars it would have costed to fix the, the tyre of your scooter, you've literally paid for about ten of them at this point in citations today. Literally for how you're driving. Yeah, well I was just about ready to go home the first time you pulled me over, but then I had to do even more deliveries to try and make back some of the money to pay back my tickets. So you didn't learn from the first time where I pulled you over where you had to spend more money where you could have started slowing down doing the right thing and then you would have actually made money instead of losing money again. No, I still would have lost money because if I don't get the pizzas there, it's free and when I get back, she makes me pay for them. Right. As far as I'm concerned, I've explained to you exactly what's happening. I've explained the law and explained why what you're doing is wrong. Um, I'm going to let you go now. You're free to pull off whenever you feel like it. Um, the, it's up to you whether you take responsibility or not or if you just keep driving around like a maniac because the next time I pull you over for the same crime, I'm suspending your license and towing the vehicle, okay? I think I'm just going to go and quit. Fuck her. Yeah, okay. That's up to you. You're free to go, like I said. Just start driving responsibly and we won't have any issues. You know, obey the traffic laws. There's a, the, you're not the only one on the road. There's plenty of other people who are doing the right thing that you're putting in harm's way because of your driving. Yeah, yeah. Alright, have a good day, Fabian. Oh, well, I'll try to. Start doing the right thing. Thanks for the backup, Zach. Sam 320s, 10-7, 10-42, have a good night. No, no. Alright, we're going off duty. We're going to drive home. Uh, off duty. Channel switched. Microphone muted. All right, guys, we're not going to end the stream yet. We're going to drive home and chillax for a little bit. We'll go and um, put some clothes on. What is dressed like this, I guess. Jeez, you're still going magic jeepers. Alright, we've got to run to the car park. Yeah, fuck that dude. <laughs> Screw that. Where is my car? There it is. Nope. Yep. It needs fuel. Come on. Are you kidding?
Looks like Fabian's catching the bus somewhere. Can you make a car request? What car? Put it in service suggestions if you can find an actual modded one that actually works. I don't promise that it'll go in though. I don't make any promises. Uh, just see if it's on GTA 5 mods or something. LSPDFR. Don't put it in here. Put it in. Put it in my Discord or something, or put it in CLRP Discord Magic in server suggestions. Cause that'll work. That'll do. We don't need a whole heap of fuel. Probably going to be quicker to get on the highway and go home that way, to be honest. You would come over, you prick. Yeah, you don't have much luck there, are you? Gotta bring Shannon out soon. I'm not a fan of the dirt texture on this car. It's not very legit that it even got dirty that quick, but it looks horrific. I'm not even gonna keep it like that. As long as pudding isn't a thing, what are you talking about? What the fuck? Uh, 
Oh, I got you. I think. Yeah, I know who... Yeah, we are talking about the same thing. I wasn't sure if we were. I've met Puddin. Pretty sure I've punched Puddin, actually. As a sieve once. I think we can take this road to get home. Hmm. Yeah, I've, um, I'm pretty sure there's some of our new police cars over here as well, Madge. Put that quote in server suggestions as well. That might help you. Oh my god. It might help you get what you want. Oh, poor Fabian, that's tragic. If you've been doing the right thing, um, you know. I don't think he lost his job, I think he was quitting, wasn't he? Not that I personally really cared too much. He was doing the wrong thing constantly. You haven't seen me in ages? No, I've been away at work. Yeah, magic. He wasn't that bad? I don't know. I don't know, Jeremy, if I would go that far. I just don't know. But Tom is going home. That Lexus looks hot from side on. I like that car a lot. Why are there people at my house? What the hell is this? Leave. Yeah, I kind of agree with magic. Alrighty. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out. It's been a really good patrol. I had a blast, actually. A lot of fun. But um, that is going to do it for this one. So I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye.